my sensors indicate a new episode of Dave's Vintage Apple Tech has just been uploaded. Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech and we're going to do a Frank and Mac update. So last I talked with you guys, I'm going to put a 10 inch monitor in it and I found on a uh, YouTube channel a gentleman that had done something similar to what I'm doing and he put a 10.1 and this is the same one that he did and it looked really good so I'm going to do the same thing uh, we shouldn't have to modify the case too much so anyway this is a, a two guard and uh, it's made in China but this is a US seller and anyway, so uh, it's as far as the connections, it's VGA, HDMI, AV, BNC, or USB, like the other one that I had. Uh, this one's from a different manufacturer, but again, it's from China. And uh, so it's, a, it's HD resolution, and you can see it's got all kinds of connections on it. So yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to, as soon as we get that, I should hopefully get it this Friday. Today is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody. And uh, so yeah, so I'm anxious on that. Um, I did get the Mac Mini mounted inside the computer. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. And uh, did a few other things too. So uh, basically when we get this monitor in, hooked up, then we will be nearing the end of our project because that way uh, we can get everything, kind of all the components put together and stuff. And I've already got some different goodies already loaded for this system also too. So anyway, um, we're going to uh, cut away from this, and you'll see the uh, the Frank and Mac out in the garage. So, and uh, we'll be there shortly. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we're out here in the garage here. So like I said, we're um, getting some things done on this. And so um, number one, we have this uh, IR cable all blacked out, so it's not all multicolored anymore and it's actually hooked to the motherboard. Um, I'm gonna spin this around real slow here so that way you can get a look in it here. And you can see the uh, Mac Mini in there. Let me just wing this down a little bit. There we go. And you can see the Wi-Fi antenna here. Uh, that, that will be Velcro just like that. That will connect up to there, no problem there. This is already mounted in. Uh, basically, I loosen these two screws on the outside. These flip up. I can lift it up. And then when I put it in, it, it locks in. This little thing right here is glued in, so it keeps the board from moving forward. And then when these, uh, I made these here out of ABS plastic. And when these are down, uh, there's a little ledge that catches. So. It ain't going nowhere guys so if you plug cables in it it ain't gonna move so anyway that's where we're at on that um, like I said I've got the monitor on order hopefully get it Friday and this is one of the special cables that I got here for it this will connect the um, optical drive up and then that way I can plug this into the back of the of the Mac mini here it's a low profile uh, 45 degree plug there and so that'll work and then my HDMI cable that I've got on order that hopefully will show up this week and that'll connect the monitor up to the uh, uh, port on the back of that but again it's like a ribbon cable so it takes up hardly any room at all and so I'll spin this around here and so that's what it looks like on the back here okay now what I'm going to be doing is, I've been thinking about this. My buddy that's got the laser printer, he's kind of flaking out on me here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to mount it like that. There will be foam up in here to hide the gaps. And then I'm going to make a plate because when I get these cables plugged in, there's going to be a little bump out on it. And uh, we'll have that over it and it'll be attached by magnets. And so that way when you look from behind you will not see any wires at all. The only thing you're going to see is the power cord going to this power switch. The monitor is 12 volt via power 110 AC. I will uh, tap that into the switch on the inside. 
and that that plug will be powered. I'll make some connectors to go on it, and then we'll Velcro the plug and tie the wire up in there. Because uh, the transformer is on the plug, it's the it's not inside the monitor, unfortunately. So we'll do that, and then we'll slide the optical drive back in there. That'll get all hooked up, and then, like I said, when we get that monitor in, then we'll be able to hook uh, this IR cable back up behind the screen. Now you notice over here on the uh, let's see here. Let me just kind of spin you over a little bit. So you see I got the screen out of it and let me get on the other side over here so I can show you guys something here okay. So hold on just a second here. And by the way that thing there that Dell uh, tower I found that in a trash at work. Some doctor's office is moving out and uh, it's not Mac related but it does work. Uh, I do have an older PC that I use once in a while just to do, pull things off of it and stuff but uh, this one is a little newer, so I'm going to probably just recycle the one that I have. I'll part it all out. But this is this nice little Dell Tower. Um, I, I don't remember what the specs are on it, but it does seem to work. But I haven't, uh, like I said, I haven't played with it too much. I just plugged it in to see if it powered up, and it does have a drive in it. So, But uh, anyways, that was a nice little trash find. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a Mac, but hey, it is what it is. And like I said, so... You notice, like I said, there's no display in there. Give me just a minute. Okay, so anyway, there's no display. So this, like I said, that 10 inch monitor is gonna be right to the edge of everything here. And like I said, I'm gonna have to modify this bezel a little bit, but I've already got it figured out. It's not a problem. Um, and then we'll still, should be able to use these here as a point of, of mounting the uh, the screen here and uh, I kind of threw the other one I took the other one out and I kind of somewhat put it back together but you can see I kind of when I was fitting in there I kind of had to I kind of shaved the corners off here but the monitor works fine so I can use that for something else so that's not a, a loss on this here we can use it for something else and all these all these uh, buttons I hooked that panel back up there so all those buttons work so yeah guys, so we were making slow progress here, um, but we're getting there. Like I said, as soon as we get that monitor mounted up in there, then we can kind of actually start putting it together and make it function. Um, it's going to be really neat to actually kind of a nice all-in-one little computer again here. But uh, the good thing is it's going to be a lot lighter than what it used to be, that's for sure, even with all the stuff we're putting in it. But uh, yeah guys, so anyway, uh, I hope you like this little update here. And I did make a new decal. I haven't got, I haven't stuck it on here yet. So I made a new decal. I'll get that one off, and I'll put the new Franken one up there on that side. But the other side is fine. So, so. And guys, I also want to remind you that the 500 subscriber giveaway is still going on. Uh, all you have to do to enter in the drawing is subscribe, and also comment on video 27. That's this one right here. Uh, that's the one that we will do the YouTube randomizer from. So you got to comment on this. It doesn't matter how many times you comment. Only one comment will get counted automatically. But yeah, guys, um, we're at 95 subs. Thank you for the last three subscribers. Fantastic. Uh, we've got a little ways to go yet before we give this guy away. Hopefully this will get done real soon here, hopefully within the next couple months. Uh, and that way the, the sooner everybody subscribes, the sooner we can give it away. And it's a great microphone, it's brand new in the box, comes with some software. And uh, yeah, so um, looking forward to, to be able to give it away to somebody. All the rules, uh, what we're, how we're going to ship it, and all the necessary stuff. So, okay guys, so anyway, um, this has been an update for the Frank and Mac on Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. Again, this is Father's Day weekend. I hope all you fathers out there have a fantastic Father's Day, and uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye.